Hey, my name is John, and I believe that every person I've ever met has a unique contribution to make to the world. Like pieces of a puzzle that all fit together, or instruments in an orchestra that all play one song, I believe we all have a part to play. The problem is, most of us don't know what our part is. And a few years ago, I met a friend of a friend in Sydney, Australia. He shared with me a part that is often overlooked. He said that when we look at the great movements of the gospel in history, we see that God raises up pioneering missionaries and well-known leaders and preachers, but he also raises up people to support them, partner with them, fund them, be their behind the scenes uh, partner and support. He called those people gospel patrons. For example, 500 years ago, there was a man named William Tyndale. And Tyndale wanted to translate the Bible into English for the very first time. The Bible had been in Latin in Europe for a thousand years and the Roman church wanted to keep it that way. But Tyndale knew that most of the people in his nation didn't know Latin. His friends, family, they couldn't read the Bible. So they didn't hear God speak in their very own language. But he wanted to change that. The problem was Bible translation was illegal. It was considered heresy. You could be killed for it. But Tyndale had this burning ambition to do something great for his nation and not the means to do it. Until a man named Humphrey Monmouth, a cloth merchant in London, came alongside Tyndale and said, Tyndale, I've heard God's given you a job to do. I think it's time you get to work. Come live at my house, I'll provide for you, I'll protect you, get to work. And so Tyndale did. For six months he lived with Humphrey Monmouth and was translating day and night from the Greek originals to an English New Testament. When it was finished, Monmouth used his merchant ships to help smuggle 3,000 copies of the English New Testament all throughout England. And they lit the English Reformation through an English Bible. And England has never been the same. And behind it all, he was a gospel patron who was almost forgotten in history named Humphrey Monmouth. Once I heard stories like this that day in Sydney, I was lit up. So for three years, I've been researching and studying, interviewing experts and scholars, going to old libraries like Cambridge and Oxford to try to get inside of what made these people tick. How did these partnerships really work in history? How has God used those behind the scenes figures? They weren't the men on the stage with the microphone. They were behind the scenes, often gifted in business and making money and being generous. How did God use them? And what might it look like for us to live not just for what we can get, but what we can give. So what I'm excited about is to bring these stories back to life for our generation, to see that we can learn from history and find our way forward today. I'm excited to bring these stories to life so that as we find our parts to play in the stories that are yet to be written by God, we light up with joy and find the purpose He's created us for. I'd love your help to bring this message to the world.